Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How are you today? Today in this video, I want to talk to you about why men ascend differently than the feminine. There's definite reasons for it, just like there's definite reasons why there has been separation, and there's definite reasons why some of this stuff plays out the way it does. But in this video, the ascension process is a little bit different for men than it is for women as much as we are making things equal in as many ways as possible. But why? But why? But why, you say? Well, the very first reason has a lot to do with just the body itself. Male bodies, female bodies, and even the internal energies of masculine and feminine have had vast differences throughout history. Usually it's been because you can really only exhibit one dynamic or contain one dynamic at any given time in history. This is why a lot of relationships will seem to fall into the same dynamic. It's because it's like a rut. It's a well-worn group. It is something that both people might be accustomed to, but that does not always equal passion. But why men? Why the difference? Well, men's bodies are wired up for certain things, just like women's bodies are wired up for certain things, especially here on Earth. There's been a distinct need to uh, make families, make children, and that's something that the feminine does. Not every female, of course, but from birth, people are equipped for this. So it's a little bit like saying, what have you been equipped for and where are you going to? And this is throwing a lot of people off. A lot of people are saying, where is this going? What's my life become? Why is it like this? And maybe you feel the extreme of this. Maybe you feel depressed or like you've wasted or somehow not used your time wisely or something like that. Maybe you feel like, hey, you gave it your best shot and, you know, what about it now? <laughs> Sorry, but it doesn't really work that way. So I encourage you to keep going here, even if you don't really have a good handle on what's going on, because as I've been saying for months and actually for a couple of years, this is the time of the men, and men have to be able to do certain things also. So when it comes to some of these things, the body has had vast differences throughout history, throughout history. I mean, you can look way back and you can see the roles that people have played and the majority of things that have happened to either one. And it's going to tell you something. Now, some not everyone is a history buff like myself. So, you know, you don't have to be a history buff but you can probably look at your own family history and be able to tell some things. What? You don't even have to look at your family history. You're already starting to feel some stuff and sense that it has to do with your ancestry. Do all of us know our ancestry? No, not fully, because for the most part, we can only go back several generations. It's a rare person that can do a genealogy that goes back a thousand years or something or beyond. And this is where it gets sort of tricky because if you look at history, there have been a lot of wars and there have been a lot of tangling up of genetics and energies. And that means you have timelines attached to you. So that brings us to the next one, the next point I want to make as to why some of the differences. Women are removing their reproductive systems from different timelines. And if you're a woman, you may have felt this. Now, if you're a woman of childbearing age, I want to let you know that you'll probably feel it the most. Women that are already in menopause, maybe not so much, but you'll still feel some stuff because you will have it come out of you. Women who are, you know, very young, you might have some alarming experiences. And I know about that and I help people with that. In fact, 
I like to help people because I don't like to see people stuck or confused or not have a handle on what is exactly happening to them. Because I am the metaphysics, metaphysician who is able to help people bridge between what your doctor may not know and what your senses are sensing and sort of trying to nag at you about and to get some clarity. That's me. So women are removing their reproductive systems from different timelines. What does that mean? Well, that means your ancestry. That means if you've lived at a certain point in time and something happened to you or you birthed someone or you were married to the wrong person or you had to give it up for someone that you did not love, your body is going to help you take care of that. But that's where it gets very strange for people because you're not just a body and you're not just a mind. You're a heart. You're a living soul. You are a soul having a human experience and getting rid of a lot of those human experiences in order to be the spiritual being that you really are, the angel that you are. So that's where it gets a bit strange for women because a lot of women right now, what are you feeling? You're feeling down, you're feeling blah, you're feeling depressed, you might feel a sense of defeat, you might feel a sense of disappointment, and if you're a woman, you could reflect these feelings and emotions over to your true love, wherever they are, because you two are intended to feel each other. But how do you get away from feeling the icky stuff? How do you get away from making him feel depressed at work or him making her feel anxious while at work or something? I mean, after all, they've still got to hold it together while they get together, right? And that's a very hard thing for a lot of people because people are going through this process and it comes up as grief. It's not always understood as exactly what past life was that that broke the camel's back. That is something that I help people with is I help people to get unstuck and balanced. Okay, what is another point here for men? The electric energy pushes forward. The electric masculine, and to a degree the feminine, but the electric masculine energy propels things forward, propels the waves of people that are ascending, propels the waves of uh, love that are the change makers, propels and in this way, gently nudges and pushes. And some of you feel that. You can feel it on your body. You'll feel like this. Or you'll feel like, whoa. Or you'll feel like something's pushing me. Okay? That is the energetic that has been created from love in other times. So that it starts to move things. Because if nothing changes, then nothing's going to change. We feel this from a cosmic level, too. Your body is going to be a barometer for changes coming up, sensing when to move on things. And, you know, we have some things around this time of year where trade winds start to pick up. But it's quite literal for people who can sense it with their body. And we've got some really awful winds and storms going on in several places. How do we bring the changes and the things that start to help people get unstuck, start to get into the mode of back to living again? Okay. What about the magnetic? Okay. Why men's ascension is different? Okay. The magnetic men are the treasure holders. You betcha. So anyone who is the magnetic, you're holding the treasure. You have a huge capacity. In fact, you've probably had a huge capacity for people backstabbing you or turning you in for something or saying you did it and you didn't do it. If anything, you helped, but somehow you were the fall guy for it. And you get the idea. 
the magnetic has had a huge capacity and they are the treasure holders. What are those treasures? Well, only you can uncover that, but I am a person that likes to help people uncover it. We do that in a session. We talk. I sense things. It's different than telling you what your mission is. Nobody should tell you what your mission is. But uncovering it, bringing those treasures out, bringing those, you know, catching those bobbing treasure boxes that the electric energy has pushed forward and finding it as though it is a treasure. The treasure holders are inside you too. So if you are a woman and you have sensed that somehow he has something for you, okay? Do you know how to properly receive? It's not going to be with a phone call because what you sense, it's not going to get resolved in a phone call. It has to be done through integration. The process is purge, clear, integrate, elevate, and get action on it. So that is important to know. How do you get unstuck and balanced? Talk to someone who understands and can move it. That's me. We do that in an angelic causal body session. And there's a magic number. That is an angel number, 144. What do these two have that keeps them? They have an actual cord between them. It's always there. So all of this disentangling, she can, she can try to run, but boing, they rubber band right back to each other. He can try to run, boing, they rubber band right back to each other. And your love is big. Your love stretches. Your love encompasses. It's not going to be something that can be freely given to other people. Those days are leaving you. It's not really like those days are just leaving you. You're leaving it too. And this is all new. This is new so that nobody can hack into these two lovely lovers ever again. Nobody can read their minds. Nobody can trick them. Nobody can pull them away from each other. They will keep boinging back to each other. Boing, boing. You'll probably hear a sound effect when that happens to you. So have a session with me. Get unstuck. Get balanced. I also have some things coming up. I have a heart chakra and introduction to twin flames on September 13th. These events are at the North Shore Healing Center on the northwest side of Chicago. And I have a twin flame union body workshop on October 26th and 27th. That is a two-day intensive, and again, that will be at the North Shore Healing Center. So hopefully you have enough time. If you're coming into Chicago, my idea is come in a day early and, you know, see a little bit here. There's a lot to see in Chicago. We are a world-class city, and we have lots of stuff, and that's a great time of year. And you can be very close to the, uh, where this is, it's very close to the airport. So just remember that I do this with guidance. I do it to help you transmute any of the differences between you and your true love. You and your twin flame are going places. And yes, going back to the places you love that are only for you too, and keeping unified, keeping your union together. Why? Because running and chasing is a thing of the past already. Close the door on it. So find out because some of these differences are actually really of importance. And yet you don't have to feel like you're apart. Get balanced again, get your mood back up, get boosted, Get yourself out of those doldrums and reach out to me. The links are below. Check out my links in the description and email me, twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. Thank you so much. 
Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.